Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll be going over the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So back to the technical analysis, today we're down 50 basis points on the one hour chart. We are approaching, or now in negative MACD, as for the 4-hour chart, we start to see a divergence and we're still in a positive MACD. And if we extend that further onto the daily chart, we still see a healthy sign on that the MACD is still intact. We have not seen any divergence in play. So we may encounter temporary support around the 300-day moving average, this green line, and the 9-day moving average, this blue line. So that will be our first immediate support if we do continue to head down lower. And that is around a price of $298.50. And as for, say, resistance, if we do continue to move up higher, we did have a temporary resistance around the range of $310 that dated back to March 4th, right before we dip much lower. And again, that, is, that was March 4th at around a price of $310.40. So if we do manage to climb higher to that level, that price movement to the upside is roughly around 3%. And to the downside to hit the next support level, that is roughly around 1% down. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the day is progressed to the seventh day, we have a 60% chance for the S&P 500 to climb higher between 0 to 2.6% and a 10% chance on the extreme case to climb higher between 26 to 5.2%. On the other hand, to the downside, we have a 25% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between 0 and negative 2.6%. And the extreme case here, we have a 5% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between negative 2.6% to negative 5.2%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability or day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So we have one day out, that would be a Monday. And two days out would be a Tuesday and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. The current trend is the blue line over here and overlapping it is a light blue line. And that light blue line dates back to December 8th, 2011 to January 24th, 2012. So let's compare the two trends. Right here we have our current trend. So we first start off at the middle Bollinger Band and then average above the middle Bollinger Band for several days, revert back to the mean to touch the middle band, and right towards the very end we touch the upper band. So now let's compare that to the trend in question. So we start off at the middle Bollinger Band, average above the middle Bollinger Band, revert back to the mean, and then once more towards the very end we touch the upper, ba upper band. So what we have here is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly same. So the model that we just examined was January or December 8th to January 24th. And that back then the S&P 500 was up around say 89 basis points. So slightly to the upside if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model that coincides with this standard deviation of 60% chance between 0 to 2.6 percent and let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model on our current trend we're in we're only down 56 basis points from monthly high up 9.5 percent from monthly low oh 1.7 percent from 10 simple moving average and up 3.5 from 20 simple moving average and we don't have 50 day simple moving average because we're only examining a 30 day trend so now let's examine the trend that we found so again back then December 8th 2011 to January 24th 2012 back then it was only down 
37% from monthly high, up 8.5% from monthly low, up 87 basis points from 10 simple moving average, and up 2.24% from 20 simple moving average. So among the two trends, there are technical similarities. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.